Hi everyone, it's Jamie here from FX Learning. So in today's training video, uh, I'm gonna do some live trading for you again. Now, I, uh, you probably won't know this because you're watching this video on YouTube, for, but for the past three days, I've been ill in bed. So today is Wednesday and I haven't actually done any trading at all this week. This will actually be my first trading session of the week so I plan to do some Forex trading for you because that's what the topic is for this week's training in the VIP group but I also want to do some binary trades for you mainly because I haven't done any trading this week and I need to get some profits in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a mixture of binary trades and Forex trades um, and I want to kind of just kind of show you how we trade Forex in the BD group and also, you know, me live trading. Um, got a nice signal at the minute on AUD JPY. What I'm trading at the minute is the normal binary destroyer rules. If you haven't, if you don't understand how the binary destroyer works, there are plenty of videos on YouTube, so there's no point in me kind of explaining again um you know exactly what the rules are um trying to find a nice setup in fact let me just think um now at the minute there's nothing really that that i like a lot of pairs are ranging at the minute euro g GPP is kind of going sideways at the minute. AUD USD is going sideways. USD JPY is going sideways. GP USD is going sideways. Euro USD is going down. That's nice. Nice. Might get a signal here. That'd be nice. And USD Chef again is going sideways. And USD CAD is going sideways. <laughs> uh, great trading session. Great start to the week, isn't it? Everything's going sideways might get a signal um in fact euro usd i could jump into a nice trade on euro usd i'm going to quickly jump into a five minute trade 100 pound and i'm going to go down now in fact i'm going to take two there we go again this doesn't meet our rules but what i like about this trade on oh, let me just bring up zoom and i'll show you exactly what i like about this sign in the binary destroyer at gmail.com um, start without video uh, share right so what I like about this it was this was just a quick trade in and out basically I like to get my sort of trading over and done with so I can actually do some uh, training videos for you but what I like about this trade is i mean straight away from the off we can see that it's a downtrend yeah we can all see that okay bands and everything is facing down okay and that's the most important thing when trading is getting and understanding the direction of the uh, of the market okay and we can all see that's a downtrend and we can see okay i got into this trade at the rejection of the moving average and also the sell zone so we can see we had a nice touch of the sell zone we had a rejection from the moving average and we had the stochastics overbought again nice trade okay so this is me just starting this week's trading session um we are currently out of the money but we should win this there's nothing um USD chefs going down. Uh, I can see that. What's your USD saying? USD chefs going up. USD chef is trade uh, changing trend direction. Can you see this? Look, we've been above. Here's another tip. Look, you see how we're above the moving average. Yeah, you see that we're above the moving average. Now, if you look at the price, it's below the moving average. So we'll start crossing down in a minute. So. Um, what I'll do, everyone, is ooh, hello, AUDJPY is giving me a nice signal. Look, 
we're rejecting from this cell zone that's interesting what I'll do everyone is I'll pause the video in fact look we are rejecting massively from that cell zone in fact I'm not even going to wait for a signal I'm going to get in now before I'm down right, I'm in see look at that see this is this is what I like about the BDs look can you see this uh, resistance line here okay we've had one bounce two bounce three bounce what I also like about this is rejecting massively look at all these rejections look at all these wicks here look at it that there is where the price is slowing down it's like the price has reached this level and it doesn't know what to do it starts rejecting can you see and look at the stochastics as well confirming the market's overbought see look we're going to start dropping again see the, the, if if there's a price action set up it's right here this is a beautiful trade look at it look at it it's rejecting nicely Ooh. Our USD CAD. Um, so this is going to be nice, nice winners to start our trading session off. Um, in fact, Euro GPP is dropping. AUD USD so 40 seconds to go okay first two trades i'm gonna write this down 300 quid in the bag in less than six minutes six minutes worth of trading and we're already up 300 quid so write that down look at it look at it usd jpy again usd jpy is rejecting from this zone i think i got in too late though now i'm not going to take a trade there that's too late but that is again another size setup Again, we were rejecting from this level. Can you see this? What's this? GPUSD. Should we take another GPUSD down? Oh, yep. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to go for a £250 trade. Let's go now. GPUSD. See this rejecting from the zone? Now, this, I mean, look at the stochastics as well. Look, rejection. Stochastics over markets overbought, nice, uh, nice winner. But this is, see, we are making newer highs with this. We should win this. I mean, I don't see why we shouldn't. I mean, look at you, look at AUD. That was a beautiful winner. That was. Look at that, dropping nicely. Look at that, poof, dropped nicely. Even though I absolutely love trading the arrows, sometimes just using simple price action with the buy and sell zones are more than enough. Um, so what I'll do everyone is I'll pause the video and I'll come back in one minute and hopefully that is today's trading session wrapped up in eight minutes so what I'll do everyone is I'll be back hey everyone right so we have currently got uh, well those every AUD JPY was two beautiful trades look at that beautiful rejection off the sell zone absolutely beautiful so there we go they's come in we got one trade left on GPUSD and I hopefully this wins because I up my lot size and typically normally when you up your trade sizes you lose the first trade okay um, it happens all the time so don't think that I am anything different because I'm not uh, so one minute to go once this trade comes in we will switch over to Forex and I'll do some Forex trade look at this nice rejection from the set this here is a beautiful would be a winner but i just missed that this here look when we get a signal arrow like this in the sell zone nice winner
see that price rejects straight off the sell zone missed that one Miss, look at that look at GPUSD miss the USD JPY look at that there okay okay what's this euro GPP we might have a signal here okay euro GPP let's go into an uptrade now boom again why do I like this setup look okay look keep it simple stochastics oversold sell zone prices rejecting from the sell zone we pull up so we now have I'm gonna write this down here that is 187 so 187 beautiful beautiful winner and we have one trade left on Euro GPP hmm we might lose this trade look at that I think I might have gone to this trade a little bit early I'm just gonna draw a little line here and I want to see what the price does hmm see look can you see what here I look we pulled down rejected pulled down so we should do something like this if the price goes any lower than this blue line here um, we are going to lose this trade because it means we're going to go lower it means we're going to break it and we're going lower but I don't take another trade hmm So far we're at 487 pound. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. We could get into another trade here. In fact, I'm gonna get into another 50 pound trade here now. Let's fire another trade. Okay, can you see my W shape here? Look, now we've got diversions on the RSI. Can you see this? See that diversions? RSI is starting to go up now. This, everyone, is price action at its finest. And for me, it's working sweet today. Um... So what I'm going to do everyone is I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back in two minutes and hopefully these two are a winner. Oh no, the la I'm just about to be took out on the last candle. Literally, it's just dipped out of the money. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Come on, go back up. Go back up. Uh, this will be minus £250. So... Oh, no, just lost that. Just lost. So we're down £250. Man, that, that hurts. And we got one trade to go, which is I'm going to have to find some more trades now. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, let's get some more trades in. Okay, USDJPY is ejected from that level again. Let's jump into USDJPY wait for a good I'm going to have to up my trade size again see what happens come on come on come on come on right what's that other trade doing uh, hold on USDJPY Come on, tell me what you're doing. Oh, I'm getting in, I'm getting in for two. Right, okay, Euro JPY, Euro GPP is a loss, so at the minute we are, this is typical trading. We are now up 187 pound, okay? 
I normally end a trading session on around £500 a day. That's my uh, target. So uh, we'll see what happens with these two trades. What I'll do everyone is I'll pause the video and I'll come back in a couple of minutes. Oof, don't you just love it when that happens. I took, uh, those are my first two trades and I took another two more trades because I thought the price was going to go against me uh, and I wanted to get it at a better price. But it looks like hopefully all four of these trades are going to come in. Come on, come on, come on. Seven, six, five, four. Come on. Three, two, one. Yes, yes. Nice. Yep. Winner, winner, and then winner. So we are now seven. Let me just work out today's trading session. Um. So we just we we won three hundred pound. Then we won a another hundred eighty seven pound, uh, and then we lost three hundred quid. So one hundred eighty seven plus the seven fifty today nine hundred and thirty seven pound. So now my binary trades are out of the way. Let me just wait for these to come in. I will do some. Uh oh. Come on, come on. There we go. Come on, come on. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Winner. Winner, winner, winner. Right, there we go. Panic over. So let's do what I plan to do some forex trading so what i'm going to be used what strategy should we use for forex today um i know i know we're gonna use we're gonna use let me what, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pause the video i'm gonna load up c trader and i'll be back and i'll show you some forex trading hi everyone right so i've loaded up c trader and i'm just gonna bring up euro jpp as trade when it world odd finder euro great british pound there we go i'm on it I'm wait for it to load get rid of this right so this i've switched over to the five minute charts let me get rid of this uh i've switched over to the five minute charts now what i like about euro great british pound is the fact that we're massively out of this buy zone. In fact, we're not even, you know, we're completely below it. Now, normally when something like this happens, is we're going to see a reversal in the market very soon. It's a night look, you can see here, you see how the price broke it. Okay, then pulls back up. We're going to do something like this here. And in fact, I'm going to get into a trade now. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do stop loss. Uh, take profit. I'm going to do 10 pips like this. Stop loss. We're going to buy the market now. Okay, new order. Keep buying. Buy, 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 buy. One more. Let's buy the market. There we go. So, three positions open. What have I done? Okay, now. Um, three positions open. Right. So, what I like about this, okay, is again, you know, the price is massively outside the zone. Now, what I'm looking for when the price is outside the zone like this is I'm not necessarily looking for a signal arrow. I'm looking for some kind of rejection, some kind of signal, okay, from these candlesticks here, symbolizing we're rejecting. If I go to the higher time frames, like look at the 30 minutes, okay? In the 30 minutes, we're clearly down, but we're also in the buy zone. So, uh, RSI is overbought, oversold. And we go over to the 15 minutes, again, five minutes, okay? So the market here is oversold, okay? Uh, look, if you look at the one hour, Okay, we're oversold, 30 minute, 15 minute, and five minutes. 
so to me okay we should be heading up anytime soon but let me just work out where we have we've got a level here let me just we've got a level let me just go over to the 15 minute time frame okay look we've got a level this is another confirmation let me draw my um horizontal line just here see this we see we might actually I think we might lose these I want to see what the price does this is let me see to five minutes well, we've got diversions in the RSI look you see how the stochastics look I mean look at the RSI okay this is simple price action look at price action price action is going down but look at RSI it's going up see this you could you see what I see an hour going up now we're going up this is nice but I think yeah you see like I got in a bit too early I think um, here we go here we go here we go now we're turning but I think we might have got in a little bit let me try a little bit early I will see what happens anyway we've gone for a 10 pip stop loss 10 pip take profit what I'll do everyone is I'll pause the video and um, fact let me see if I can put this like this yes I can and I'll come back in hopefully uh, five or ten minutes time and hopefully uh, this is a winner so I'll pause the video everyone and I'll be back hi everyone right so it's been about 25 minutes now and I just got stopped out by my trade uh, we can see that the price did carry on going down Um, not yes the trade was against the trend but I was kind of hoping that the uh, price did reverse we can see we had a resist a support line here okay we had number of rejections from that zone so ideally I was looking for the price to do that but unfortunately it didn't the price reversed carried on going back down um I'm not gonna I'm gonna end the video here but just looking at where the price could go uh, if I go over to the higher time frame see we have got a, re a zone here just here uh, which we are at now price could go to there uh, but again I'm not gonna bother because uh, you know we are on that the way I see this is if the price has already broken our support line it's likely to carry on going down and that's the issue I have is very strong uh, downtrend so I'm gonna leave that there uh, that's my trading complete uh, as you can see made a nice what was it eight nine hundred pound with binary uh, and um, failed with Forex uh, but yeah I'll probably do another training video on Forex and yeah I hope you like today's video if you have any questions just drop me an email the binary destroyer at gmail.com thank you